Again, Ryan, we're here at Lords at the home of cricket, Gloucestershire's first Lords final in 11 years. How are you feeling ahead of the big day? I'm excited. You know, it's uh, it's a great occasion here, and and you know, the home home of cricket's a wonderful place. So, uh, really looking forward to tomorrow. We we've worked hard to get to this final, so it's it's ultimately now about just enjoying the day, and and hopefully when you when you do that, you play well, and and we'll come out on top. You played here many times in your career in some very big games. Um, what memories spring to mind? And have you had a chat with any of the boys here about how to approach a game at Lords as opposed to a normal game? Uh, not necessarily. Obviously, 2005 Ashes. Uh, the the atmosphere here for the first match uh, was incredible. Walking through the long room, uh, it, it was the noise was like nothing I'd heard before here at Lords. So yeah, the, that that summer was incredible. We played a one-day game here where I was man of the match in the final and. Um, top scored and, and took five catches so yeah now I've got some fantastic memories of of here and in terms of the lads they've they've played a few times before and I, I think I just want them to enjoy it so I don't want to don't want to sort of crap put anything on them to, to make them feel under pressure they you know they they've got this far doing it their own way and I think they, they do that really well they they're a good thinking group so uh, so yeah now I'll, I'll I'll let them be I'll just just let them enjoy it and, um, and, and and really sort of soak up the atmosphere. I guess when you came to Gloucestershire, one of your uh, areas, I guess, your, part of your brief, if you like, was to sort of help this side develop and improve and um, to gain experience. Have you been surprised at how quick the progress has been? How do you evaluate the group at the moment? Oh, no, it, they, the group really impressed me when I was on loan last year and, and that was a big factor to, to wanting to return this year. And, uh, I knew that there were some incredible talent, especially within the bowling ranks. That was an area that uh, I felt if uh, you know if those guys hit their straps, then capable of some special things. So, but ultimately, it's been a fantastic team effort, and and that was something that comes around because they're, they're such good mates, and and that's something that I've really enjoyed in my time in Bristol when I've been away from my family. The fact that you know, as a group, we we all meet up regularly, and 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 so it's. You know, those, those rewards have come out on the pitch that they, they scrap for each other and they really enjoy each other's uh, victories. So, uh, so yeah, no, it's, it's probably a bit surprised a few, the fact we've got through to this final, but, um, you know, the, the way in which we've got here and, and won games hasn't surprised me hugely because I knew, knew the guys in the dressing room were capable of doing it. And presumably uh, a win tomorrow would be a fantastic springboard for the side going forward. Um, where do you think the game will be won and lost tomorrow? Yeah, obviously that you know if we can, we can win tomorrow, it's a fantastic sort of uh, feather in the cap for for the guys, and they should get a huge amount of confidence from it. So, who knows? You know, tomorrow I think the weather's meant to be all right. The rain has played, you know, it's been around this this part of the week, so it'll be interesting to see what the wickets like. It generally can do a bit early on here at Lords. So, uh, so yeah, I think if, we probably you know whatever happens we you, you want to do it well early on so if we get the chance to bowl on a on a bowler friendly wicket we want to get into their top order and you know Kumar Sangakara is a big name and he's done incredibly well for them so uh, so yeah I, I think the side that that just sort of enjoys the day the most and makes the most of it doesn't get too overawed by it and and is able to just keep it simple and 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 do the basics really well will we'll come out on top because they've got some very talented players as have we so uh, you know the, the, there's a number of people in it in both dressing rooms who on their day could win the games and of course it's your final game of professional cricket um, how much would it mean to go out on a high lifting the trophy here at the home of cricket oh it'd be incredible you know to, to be able to finish that way it's the sort of things that you know, dreams are made of, and I've I've been daring to dream the last few games we've been playing. So, uh, so yeah, no, it, personally it'd be incredible. But as as much as that, I know how much it'd mean to Gloucester. So, uh, so yeah, no, to to be able to walk off and walk off with my teammates and and, and come up and collect the trophy. You know, let, let's dare to dream.